Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. This workout today is going to be a combination of three different elements. We're going to do some bar exercises, nice light weight but high volume. We're going to move into some strength with heavier weights and lower volume, and then we'll hit some cardio to kick the heart rate up. Grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. I'm also going to use my bench on an incline for some of the exercises, something to hold on to during the bar element. Uh, you can hold on to a wall or a couch or the top of a chair as well. The format, 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between, and we'll repeat everything for three rounds. All right, that's all you need. Are you ready to move daily? Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna put intervals on my watch today. Let's warm things up, shall we? Some arm circles to start. It's chilly down here this morning. I'm wearing multiple layers. I know I'll be ditching them in a moment, but I'm gonna start nice and cozy here. Switch directions. Okay, let's just take it feet shoulder width. You're gonna hinge forward and back and warm that lower back up. Two more here. Good, let's move into a squat and reach it here. Take it wide, toes are out, and open in the chest. And a little side to side lunge here. Warming up the inner thigh. Last one here, I'm gonna move right into a static lunge for 10 aside. <clears throat> Last one here, and switching sides, pelvic tilt and drop for 10. Good. Let's go into some hip openers here. And the heart rate's starting to climb. Two more. Good, we're gonna hinge at the waist. One hand down and reach and stretch. Warming and stretching that lower back. Switch sides and up. Oh, this feels really good. One more each side. Reach. And again, here for reach. Okay, hands on your shoulders. Last torso turn here. Very good. All right, so we've got a bar, we've got a strength, we've got a cardio. There they are, get ready to go. I'm starting with really light weights, just two pounds here. You're gonna hit that plie, left punch and right punch, and then we're gonna cross over, criss and cross. Here we go. So punch and single, double here, double here.
I'm gonna grab my eights for that static lunge switch. So a little heavier weight here, of course. I'll go halfway in the lunge. We're gonna switch right at the center as we drop that lunge. So you switch and press. Elbows are in. Last one here, and switch your leg. Here we go, drop it low, switch in the center. shuffle the frog squat. You can low walk into a frog squat for low impact if you like. Shuffle here and drop. that single, single, double punch. Plie. You're here, here, double, double. Two pounds are plenty for me with a double punch forward. Nice. I think I'll move to a 10 pound on the static lunge switch. All right, nice and tall, switch in the center. Drop and press, elbows are in. <clears throat> Last one here, switch the leg. got the heart rate up. All right, moving into your shuffle with the frog squat.
Okay, final round. I'm gonna stick with the twos. They don't have threes. The jump up is to five, so I'm gonna keep it light here. Shoulders back, cross, cross, crisscross. Here, switch your leg. Exercises there, take a look, grab your weights. I'll be using a high back for balance here. Tiptoe on the one foot. You're gonna start with the leg up glute and we're gonna come to the side. Front and side, I'll call half on the leg. This will burn, here we go. So your front with a pointed toe and back behind you. Already my glute feels this. Try to hop up onto that tiptoe for a nice little calf activation here. Three, two, one. Switch sides. You could hold onto a wall if you don't have a high back or something. to a King Kong squat curl press. All right, 12 pound dumbbells to start. Wide stance in a sumo squat. Drop it low in the center. Drop it low, curl, press right here.
Nice. All right, two knees, two kicks. Your low impact is here, here. Straight kick, straight kick. I'll jump this out. Point that foot. Last one here. Switch legs. Per side. King Kongs. Look at my 12s. Sumo squat. Curl press. Press right there. bar. You can drop from the tiptoe as well if you'd like. Here we go. Just nice and controlled. Feel that glute activating in your calf as well. Stay with me on this side now. Don't let that leg drop. Good job. Good 
Whoa, there's a lot of glute activation there. Good. All right, we're switching legs. Full 45 on this side now. Here we are. Up and point the toe. You're halfway through, stay on this side. Holy, that was hard. Calf sees a bit. Last cardio here. Great, quick water break and there's the next circuit. Grabbing my twos again, you'll want something light but you can do this without weight. We're gonna come overhead and out to the side. Leg goes back, leg goes out. I'll call halfway, we'll switch our legs. But we're gonna keep the arms. So here we go, leg goes back and out, back and out. Good, keep that stationary leg soft, okay? And focus on something. You'll need your balance about you on this guy. Core engaged in four, three, two, one, switch legs. Stay facing your thighs, feet about shoulder width apart. Drop it low here, stand, hammer here. Nice. All right, keep your chin up. Center jack, side squat we'll move into. Your low impact will be here, two jacks. Pivot and drop to that squat. All right, center jack and turn.
Nice. Round two. Exercise ring closed. All right, I'll stick with the twos. Back inside of the leg. Here we go. Three, two, last one here, switch your leg. Oops. That's way harder than you think. It's like the weights are easier than the balance with the high rep, right? Grabbing my 15s for my squat curl. Need shoulder width. your knees stay equal distance apart on the squat. Pretend like there's a piece of rebar between them. Don't let them come together. Center jack, side squat, and work. We're gonna do 45 seconds per side on this next one again. We wanna make it burn, right? Let's try it. Here we go. Oops. Oops. Stay with me here. That was tough. That was tough on the sta uh, stationary foot. Just holding the balance, wasn't it? Heart rate is up. Switching legs. Let's try this guy. Don't hold your breath. Stick your chest out too. Oh, 
that was a substantial shoulder burn. I liked it. All right, squat curl with my 15s. Need shoulder width and drop. That last cardio here. Whew. Shake it out. Doing well, folks. Center jack. Here we go. There's the next circuit. Take a look, grab your weights. I'll use my five for this bar exercise here. It's a side plank, okay, on the, from the knee, but with a leg lift and a kick out. 45 seconds per side, and then we'll switch. Here we go. So lift and kick. I want your elbow up high there. Don't let that elbow drop. Now I'm feeling it. It's fire in the tricep with this five, but I'm gonna stick with it. your wrist okay feel free elbow up and you lift and kick lift and kick we're getting good glute activation on that bottom leg as well aren't we fire
10 more seconds here. Stay over your chest, not your head. All right, set those down. Make sure there's no dumbbells in your path for your broad jump jack back. You can modify with a giant hop, three tap back, okay? Here we go. Land light, and then one, two, three. Leg left here, and kick. tricep, it's the bottom leg that's killer. Switching sides. Here we go. Absolute fire. <laughs> Absolute fire. All right, chest press. Wide now with the glute bridge. Let's work. Press it up and wide. arms here, up to that broad jump.
Last round, folks. Oh, this was a tough round for me. The chest press was the easy one. <laughs> okay, work hard. Here we go. Feel my glutes tomorrow. Let's go into the chest press turn. Add that glute bridge and squeeze your glutes at the top. Let's work. Jack. Let's do that. Hit it hard, folks. This is your last exercise. comment below. Say hi. I'd love to meet you. Let's take it down into pigeon right here. Oh, this is going to feel good. With so much glute activation on that kickback guy. <laughs> well, all of them, right? It's like a shoulder. Well, I did a little bicep, little tricep, shoulder, glutes, abs. Like it's all a, such a good workout. I like that. I like the bar for that. And remember, you can build muscle with lighter weights. You just need to fatigue the muscle, you need to push the system. So if that means that you have to go, you know, higher volume, higher reps, uh, isometric holds can actually do that too, like the pulses, the holding the weights in this position and not 
letting them come down. That's all awesome for muscle activation and growth. So this can do it as well as heavier weights. Heavier weights will be faster, yes, because the overload is greater, but if you are fighting injuries and you need to lift lighter, you definitely still can build muscle. You just need to push the system still. Let's go on to our back. Nice hamstring stretch here. Flex the foot. Oh yeah. Oh, that felt good though. So 2023 is the year right now. It's, it's January. I don't know if you've set New Year's resolutions or if you resolve yourself to create better habits this year. I hope that you have, especially if you don't have great habits set in place already. Uh, and if you do have good habits, that's awesome. Capitalize on those, build on those, right? Maybe set a goal for yourself so you can keep motivated and um, keep achieving something that's fun and different. But for those who are just kind of going, okay, I really need to dial this in. One of the things that's really important to remember, let's go into feet together, knees open and rock here, is that this has to be like a lifestyle. This should be the, the year that you say, I'm going to become people like us who do things like this forever, right? Because once you reach, reach the age of 40, 40 and beyond, it, it gets more and more challenging to maintain your weight or to lose weight. It gets more and more challenging to build lean muscle, right? All of those things become more challenging because you're fighting age, which means you're increasing chances of osteoporosis and sarcopenia with loss of lean muscle. So you've got to do more in essence in order to get the same results. So if you don't have it as a lifestyle and you just sort of come back to it one month and say, oh, I've got a cruise, I'm going on, I need to lose weight because I feel gross. I'm going to go on this extreme diet because I know it works and it'll be fast. And I'll do some of Tracy's workouts. And then you stop. You have not won. You are in a cycle. You are on a hamster wheel. And that is not creating the lifestyle habit of moving daily. So this is why I love that mantra, move daily. And this is why I say move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. As we work on that wellness component, as we learn to know ourselves better, as Socrates say, says, know thyself. As you learn to do that, you want to honor your body more with movement, with good nutrition, with well-being, right? You want to do things that benefit your sleep and improve your mental health and all of those states. So it's it's an important thing and I you know I get it this is the busiest season of life and so oftentimes for the majority of people I think that priority goes on the back burner and then you get desperate and then that's when we do the crash things like the extreme things that don't work so this year think about what it means for you to move daily in your fitness wellness and nutrition and it doesn't have to be a lot right it sometimes it's two steps forward, one step sideways, one step back, three steps forward, two, you know, but we're still moving forward. And if you set targets and if you think about the things that you want to become and also maybe contemplate where you don't want to go because when you're equally afraid to become something that you don't want to be and motivated to become something that you do want to be, that's the biggest driver. That's where you're going to get the biggest bang for your buck. So think about those things today. What are you afraid of letting yourself become if you do nothing? And what are you excited about getting up to achieve throughout your day? That's an important thing to keep in your brain as well. All right, thanks for joining. If you need help with those things, you can join our membership. There's the link right there. And if you're looking for a workout tomorrow, what would I do? I would probably just do cardio, maybe cardio and core right there. See ya in the next workout.